I'm Anna Caligari, and this is Political Fashion Chat. President Obama addressed the nation from the Oval Office to talk about terrorism and continued gun violence while wearing a dark blue Sears suit and a denim striped tie. These are serious issues in serious times. And he looks seriously good! I love it! I expected an Obama, but he is barocking that look so hard. Mm -hmm. He looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Jeb Bush has been spotted wearing a navy sports coat with his name emblazoned on the inside with increasing frequency while on the campaign trail. It's like a superhero gone wrong. Jeb, pow, no! I feel like it's something that your mom gives you for your Christmas pajamas, you know what I mean? Where it just says your name on it over and over again. And I'm sorry, Barbara, if you did that for Jeb, stop. Hillary Clinton spoke to leaders of Silicon Valley wearing a dark blazer and draping white blouse. It's like we're fighting an up Hillary battle here, you know? Mm -hmm. Fashion first, policy second, how many times do I have to tell these people? And Penguin, never. The look is like 100% Penguin mm -hmm. to me. And Danny DeVito is not a style. Mm -mm. He wore it better. Ted Cruz appeared in his latest political ad in a navy blue Brooks Brothers suit and a crimson red tie. I'm sorry, but he's cruising to the fashion outlet in my book. I mean, just everywhere. I thought he was looking kind of sharp, honestly, but that could have just been his face. Oh, that's very true. It's misleading. Yeah. Now it's time for Who Flagged It Best? Ben Carson versus Marco Rubio. See, for me, this is a Ruby no. I mean, it's boring. Kick it up a notch. No, we've seen this before. Ben Carson is definitely killing it. Yeah. Patriotism on fleek. So there you have it. Ben Carson flagged it best. Congress might be in recess, but fashion is always in session. This has been Political Fashion Chat. See you next time. So I was homeschooled until I was 16, and Friends was my favorite show. So really, Friends was my entire social education, much to my detriment, you know, because I learned that you don't have to be a good person to have a lot of friends. J